Do you want to learn three awesome tips for when you are designing your own vector repeat patterns in Adobe Illustrator? I have them in this video for you coming up. After watching this video, you will be able to create any project in Adobe Illustrator faster for the rest of your life because this tip is not only for vector repeat patterns, but also for illustration, art and design projects in Adobe Illustrator. And if you stay till the end of this video, you will be able to get a present from me. So stay tuned. My name is Oksantia. I have been a textile designer for over 15 years now, and I'm also a founder of uh, Oksantia Textile Design Online Studio and an award-winning online school. Let's jump right into the tips. So here I have my vector repeat pattern that I designed a while ago. And let's say I uh, accidentally while working on it, double click somewhere and uh oh, it all disappeared. It zoomed in on some uh, parts of an artboard and I don't know where my uh, design is, where my artboard is. So what you can do is you can double click on the hand tool and the design basically fits into the screen and appears. And next, what you can do, you can uh, click on command minus and or command plus to make it smaller or bigger. And if you uh, want to use the shortcut for that, we can do command zero and that achieves the same. Basically, it will find your artwork uh, if you're lost it somehow. And uh, what else you can do here, you can use the next tool, which is a hand tool. Let's say you are uh, drawing with a paintbrush on your artwork and uh, then you want to move your artwork quickly. What you can do, you can just press uh, down your uh, space bar on your keyboard and then you can just move. The interesting thing, if you let go, it goes back to the previous tool that you used, which in our case is a brush tool. Very, very handy. So again, if you double click on the hand tool, it will just go to uh, basically fit your artboard in your uh, screen, in your working area on your artboard. Next tip is if you want to create a copy of this pattern uh, exactly aligned to the size of the artboard, what you can do is you can click on the pattern and then you can click on Option Alt and then you click on uh, start dragging it and then click on Command and Shift to constrain the exact height so they're perfectly aligned. Let go and you have your copy. The problem is you don't have the artboard here. So what you can do, you can click on Artboard tool and then you click on the background, the rectangle that you have. In this case, it worked and, uh, and we have a copy of this pattern. Now, I just, let's say decided to recolor the background. So I'll just go and click, um, select much darker colors. Now you have two Artboard and if you click on the Artboard tool, you see Artboard 1 and Artboard 3. Okay, very good. But I found a faster way to do this. So uh, you have one artboard and you want to make a copy of it with artwork inside quickly. So we click on artboard tool, shift O shortcut. Then we find this move uh, or copy artwork with artboard button. If it's darker than the background, then it means that it's uh, on. And if it's uh, the same as a the background, uh, then it's off. So we'll click on and now we'll be able to make a copy of the artboard and the artwork ex inside exactly aligned to the right. Let's say we want to drag it to the right. So what we're going to do, we are going to press on option, start dragging to the side, position it approximately, and we are going to let go. And we have a copy of the artboard to the side. And now it's a different kind of uh, file. So let's see, we want to change the background. And then let's say you can make it lighter. So, or maybe darker still. So this is how we can do it faster uh, with the artboard tool. So today I shared with you three of my favorite Adobe Illustrator tips for designing vector repeat patterns 
or any other creative project in Adobe Illustrator, I hope you find them useful. Please hit that like button for me if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel because I release videos just like this one about creative business, about fabric design, about being an artist and a designer, working for yourself. All of those goodies are on this channel, so hit that subscribe button and the bell notification next to it so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you know somebody who could use this video and the tips would be helpful for them, please uh, share this video with them. I would really, really appreciate it. Remember the present that I promised you at the beginning of this video? Well, here is my free ebook that has been downloaded more than 3000 times by now and it's called Grow Your Pattern Portfolio Fast. It's not just an ebook, it's actually a workbook with illustrated checklist that you can use to learn how to grow your portfolio of vector repeat patterns or any kind of patterns for that matter 15 times faster. I show you my tested tips and tricks on how to take one yes one vector repeat pattern and turn it into 15 patterns you can apply it for the rest of your life and you'll be able to grow your portfolio so so much faster you can request a copy of this workbook at the link in the description of this video so hop on over there and get this uh, workbook right away thank you so much for watching grow love and create bye